Anthem. Welcome to chapel. Well, it is Red Ribbon Week, and we've been having all kinds of uh, fun themed dress days. Yesterday, I loved all your crazy outfits. You guys were looking great. And if you haven't gotten in on our themed dress days, uh, we still have plenty of time this week. Tomorrow is Jeans Day, all right? Thursday is Neon and Bright Colors Day, and Friday is Spirit Gear Day. So uh, look through your closet, pick out something fun to wear, and we'll have fun with this. Uh, right now, we are going to get into worshiping together. Uh, this is a song that you know that we sang a lot last year. So uh, as you listen, focus your hearts on God and uh, let's worship together. Cause that is who you are. Well, that 
Well, as I mentioned before, uh, this is Red Ribbon Week. We're having a lot of fun with that. But if you are maybe new with us, you might be asking yourself, what is Red Ribbon Week? Uh, Red Ribbon Week is something that not just our school uh, recognizes, but schools all over the country uh, come together and let this week be a reminder that we need to say no to drugs and alcohol. And uh, this is especially important for you as, as kids, as your bodies and your brains are developing and you're growing. Uh, we have to say no to these things because they can be very harmful to us. And you might be wondering, what does this have to do with God? This is chapel, we talk about the Bible, right? Well, it actually has a lot to do with our spirituality because God made our physical bodies and our minds and our spirits to all be interconnected. I want to read a verse out of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, actually verses 19 and 20. They say, Don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who comes from God and dwells inside of you? You do not own yourself. You have been purchased at a great price, so use your body to bring glory to God. This verse talks about the idea that we have been purchased at a great price. And what this talking about is, you know, God gave us this life that we have and he sent his son, Jesus, to die for us so that we can have relationship with God. That was a great sacrifice. That was a great price. And God wants to have relationship with us. He made that sacrifice so that we could have relationship. And so our response to that should be to do the best we can with the life that we've been given. Do the best we can be responsible with our minds, with our bodies, with our actions each and every day. When we recognize this great price and think about uh, you know, how, how God has given them to us, we recognize that we need to take care of our bodies. We need to take care of the minds that he's given us. Sometimes we think uh, that spiritual things and physical things are, are completely separate, but the reality is our spirits, our minds, our physical bodies, they are all tied together and they all work together to uh, give us this existence that we have as humans. When we choose to partake in something that is harmful to our body, that is harmful to our minds, that, that, that makes us be in a state of not being able to control our own actions, or maybe it makes us make decisions that we wouldn't normally make, uh, we're doing harm to ourselves. We're doing harm to our minds, we're doing harm to our bodies, sometimes we're doing harm to people who are around us. So I want us to think today about this, this idea of saying no to things that might alter our mind or make us make bad decisions. I want us to think about how this life that we've been given is an incredibly, incredibly beautiful gift from God. And when we make the wrong choice and, and, and partake in things that might just lead us down a bad path or, or even harm us mentally or physically, we're just kind of throwing that life away. We're not valuing the life that God has given us the way we should value it. So let's value that because they are 
just incredible gifts. We've been designed by God to use this life that we've been given, to use these minds that we've been given, to use all the skills and talents that, that we grow into to not just make our own lives better, but to make our community around us better, to make the world around us a better place. And we can't do that if we are not taking care of our minds, not taking care of our bodies. So as we have fun this week, uh, let's fully embrace it, dress crazy, uh, dress, I can't wait till Thursday, I wanna see a lot of neon bright colors. Have fun with it, but also let it be a reminder that each and every day, we need to make the right choice to, to say no to things that can harm us. And I want to leave you also with this. If you have any questions or you feel like you need to talk to somebody about whether it's things you've seen or questions you have regarding drugs or alcohol, uh, your teachers are there to listen. Uh, myself, Mrs. Young, our office staff, we are here as adults to listen to you, to talk to you about your questions because we know that this can be uh, sometimes a scary thing or, or it can be something that we're uncomfortable talking about. Uh, we want to let you know that we are here to talk to you about it. We are here to answer any questions that you might have. So let's go today. Let's make the right choice each and every day uh, so that we can make the world, the community around us a better place. Have a great week and uh, can't wait to see what you dress as tomorrow. Bye-bye.